You all want to be in, I hope? Yeah. I'm Stephen Penjusic, Executive Director of Mix NYC. Happy to welcome you here to the thing that is the 24th, 24th New York Mayor Experimental Film Festival. I'm not here alone, as you see. Introduce. Hi, I'm Sloan. This is Diego Montoya. and the Space Cave, Diego Montoya. Thank you for coming. All right. <laughs> Melanie Rado, a member of our programming committee. <laughs> Andre Azevedo, installations coordinator. Oh my god. <laughs> Aries De La Cruz, president of the board. Design extraordinaire, design extraordinaire of the uh, jungle, and house manager, and I couldn't even tell you all the roles she fills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she, contains, she contains multitudes. And Sue Burgess, festival co-director. Who, who make mix possible, who are, who are in the room doing their jobs and uh, uh, recovering from doing their jobs. So we, we want to thank so many people. Uh, Jeremy Gender, whose title is construction but doesn't even begin to explain the hours, the endless hours that he put in. Uh, she's sleeping right now because it's just been endless uh, these, these past three weeks of making this planet habitable. Uh, I also want to thank Peter Kramer for doing tons of lighting here so that we have the sun shining on us so brightly. We have uh, Ethan and Khan up in, up in the booth doing sound and other tech that's been sure so we have here. Congestion is Ethan Weinstock and Jen Dennis tonight. amazingness from Devin Gallegos who's actually working his yeah. the, the filmmakers co-op benefit tonight so can't be here but it was also here for a minute because she was in two places at once. Oh Devin is here! Devin is here! Yeah. Ian Kowalewski who does He's my girl. She's my girl Friday <laughs> in the office and tech and documentation. We also want to thank um, Robert Morse, who made little teasers that are appearing on Facebook and helps me vision things. Uh, there's so many other people. Jesse Kessel is our, is our food captain, and, and hopefully you'll see there's more food in, the, in our Space Cave Lounge downstairs for you to enjoy later tonight and every night. Uh, there's so many more, more people, and I'm not looking at my cheat sheet. Um, I, I, I want to say so many things about, about so many people. I'm going to thank our funders, <laughs> hilariously. I want to thank the New York State, <laughs> the New York State, the, the New York State Council on the Arts, which has been our longest funder. They've been funding us, I believe, since 1988 from the second festival. And they recently, you know, talk, talking about money is really complicated. Um, but NISCA, actually, we just got word the other night at midnight, they sent an email saying that we received an 85% increase in our funding, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> This venue, this planet, is one of the most expensive planets we have ever inhabited. <laughs> we also want to thank the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, uh, which also mysteriously, crazily, increased our funding a little, a little tiny bit this year, but you know, we didn't expect it in this climate, right? So even though, on one hand, I need to thank the state and the city, I need to also condemn the state and the city. <laughs> everything for you. So, several of us left, including uh, Seamster Luke Goodhart, who sewed everything in the lounge for you. Um, and Gina Carducci, who made our trailer for, for yes. this year's festival. And we were, we were going home, and I was taking some garbage out of the car, and Gina said, they're raiding the park. Do you want to go down there? And I said, are you, really? Are you serious? Like, yeah, yeah, we're kind of kidding, kind of not. I'm like, okay, let's go. And we went down to Occupy Wall Street for the raid. And um, 
It was very disappointing. I was, I'm not proud to be a New Yorker last night. Um, I'm hoarse today from screaming at the cops as they pushed us north on Broadway with the batons telling us to get off the streets and out of the sidewalks. It was a very, it was very, it, it, it just, it really hurt me a lot to be there uh, and to experience this, this, even this, this kind of violence, this unnecessary intervention against peaceful people who are not doing anything. I mean, I'm sure you all understand, but, but being there live in the moment was, was unexpected and shocking and horrible and it, it stole a lot of my energy for for this night um, because because of what was happening and and you know even though we benefit from I don't want to call it largesse because it's, you know it's a democracy it's supposed to be made up of people and not stormtroopers uh, and 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 not not plutocrats who buy their way into government office um, so it's a very strange situation to find ourselves in. Uh, I think Sloan actually wants to say a few words about community that, um, that can counter some of the negative things that I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, what I really wanted to draw your attention to were um, all of the amazing performances and installations that are happening not only tonight but this entire week. We have an incredible lineup for you. and. I want to make sure that you know all about it. Be sure you pick up this gorgeous program designed by Sasha O'Malley. Woo! Woo! Yes. Designed that light writing just for us. That's all, that's all hand done, analog. That's not the computer. That was all done with a flashlight. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure that you knew about um, a new project, the Exploratorium, which is taking place at um, La Mama Galleria, which is on first street just around the corner from us and opening there for a week of um, an installation lab where you can see exciting work by none other than Peter Kramer, uh, Christy Rose, many other people. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have a one week laboratory of installation and then another week or another two weeks, Jesus is long, of performances <laughs> and uh, exciting events and parties and cookies and tea before, before all of you, before you come to the festival. Oh, right. This this week there's cookies and tea every day from five to yeah. Is that five to seven. Almost, explaining this event is almost as, as complicated as explaining it to the card designer. Who is doing <laughs> <laughs> so, thank, thank you, Matt Bro. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> there is a lab this week uh, for installation, and you get to see works in progress. Artists in the orbit of mix. We're excited about it. It's new, and uh, we encourage you to check it out. And uh, we want to encourage you to check out all the installations in this space. And we um, have a lot of people have put a lot of time and energy and work and love and labor into creating the space you're seated in tonight and the lounge downstairs. There's been an incredible labor of volunteers, and it's kind of amazing in the sense of what you know what Stephen was talking about with um, what's going on in our economy, what's going on with this recession, and what's going on with the incredible setbacks we're facing um, as a as where people who love freedom, we are facing some setbacks, um, not only in the recession, but also in, you know, in the, the crackdown on speech. Um, I think it's it's uh, important that we come together in a free speech area such as this um, in order to cultivate our resilience so that we can continue to face the um, heavy pressure of the state and of the forces of, you know, the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. <laughs> So it's actually interesting, at, at one of our board meetings a year or two ago, one of the co-founders, Sarah Schulman, was talking, and we were talking about a lot of different things, and she said, let's face it, Mix is an anarchist organization. And I was really happy to hear her say that. And, you know, sure, it's not maybe, it's, it's what, there's lots of different forms of anarchy. Hopefully you will enjoy some of those forms this week when you're here. Um, <laughs> Certainly it's been anarchy the past three weeks setting up. <laughs> uh, so we want to thank you for being here tonight and look at all of you here um, coming into this space tonight to see work that is um, challenging and difficult and uh, a lot of it doesn't even have a plot. And, <laughs> and here you are, and here you are. So
still during a, a, a year where we we have all faced a lot of challenges and we've all faced a lot of setbacks. We have come together in this space to build our re regroup, to rebuild our capacity, to cultivate our resilience, to watch film that challenges us and inspires us and is difficult and is complicated mm -hmm. and is experimental. And fun. Ooh. I need to thank a few more people. I want to thank our, our wonderful um, web team of volunteers, Tom Beagleisen, uh, Ray Azevedo, Ian Kowaleski, Ari Rosenbaum, Farron Scott, um, who all did everything, and, and Sasha O'Malley, who did everything super crazy because we just pull it out of somewhere um, and make it happen. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, I also wanted to acknowledge um, Transitions. Um, our longtime board president, Frank Sousa, um, resigned earlier this year. And uh, after many years of service, it's very clear to everyone that Frank was the most active and hardworking board president that Mix has ever had. Doing more than... Yeah. Doing more than that um, Frank chose to step down, but um, we love her very much, and um, I'm not sure that she's here tonight, but I, you know, my thoughts are with her always, and uh, I just wanted to, when things, you know, when things happen behind the scenes, sometimes in the off season, it's, it's not as a, I don't know, I like it, I like it when people can have their, their moment in the sun, and uh, here on this little planet, so that's, that's uh, a shout out to Frank. Um, since we didn't know what was going to be happening. Uh, so I wanted to say that. And I think the other things would be about maybe the films tonight. So I need to, uh, I need, I need to consult the catalog for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. There are so many. <coughs> so uh, I actually don't know all the who all the filmmakers who might be here tonight because it's been so crazy. So going through, uh, we, I do know that uh, Ethan Hudson Khan from Adila, a day in Los Angeles this year with the premiere of the Super 8 film. He's up in the booth, but you know. <laughs> Kate Ha with Veruca. Lauren Murphy has a double projection 16 millimeter film, and we spoke last night. And, he, and Lauren's supposed to be here, but I have not seen him yet tonight. So I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, Lauren! Yeah. Hey, Lauren, here's some tech stuff to talk about. So we're gonna do the best we can, okay? <laughs> um, Kelly Spivey with a Visual Guide to Physical Examination, also on 16 millimeter. Yeah. And I think. I think those are all the filmmakers who are here for tonight's screening. Afterwards, we'll come up and do a Q&A. Uh, also, following this screening, downstairs in the Space Cave Lounge, there is a free performance by Coral Short from Montreal called The Insiders. So please, please, you know, um, choose, choose your atmosphere wisely and experience all that you can. And uh, we will see you after the show. And we'll see you back here the rest of the week for our exciting oh film screenings and performances and installations and live music on Sunday. Thank you so much.